lot of technology brand names uh, that many of us are pronouncing totally wrong. Interestingly, some continue to mispronounce them even after their mistake is pointed out. Watch the next report to find out how many brand names you correctly pronounced. Xiaomi. In, in good. Xiaomi. Completely wrong. In good. My goodness, nobody in India would be knowing this. Doesn't it get embarrassing when someone asks you about your phone or any other gadget and you end up mispronouncing the brand name? But don't worry, you are not alone. Show me. Show me. Show me. Show me. Xiaomi. It's XI. Xiaomi. 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 The correct pronunciation is. Xiaomi. Asus. 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 The correct pronunciation is Asus. You be me. You wait. Hawaii, Hawaii. Hawaii? Huawei. 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 The correct pronunciation is Huawei. Kasperksi. Kasperksi. Kasperski. 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 Kaspersky? Kaspersky. <laughs> no clue. Kasper... Kaspersky. 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 The correct pronunciation is Kaspersky. Have let Picard. Second word I can do, Packard. <laughs> Not the first one. Hewlett Packard. Hewlett Packard. Hewlett Packard. Hewlett Packard. Hewlett Packard. The correct pronunciation is Hewlett Packard. Baidu. 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 The correct pronunciation is Baidu. Adobe, yeah. Adobe. 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 The correct pronunciation is Adobe. Im Imga. 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 Oh, Imager. Imgur. 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 The correct pronunciation is Imager. Tell me now what is it? I don't know. I will pronounce you on me. I can. My life. My rules. All right, moving on, technology may be making your and my lives better and easier, but sadly, it's killing the small joys of life. Here's a report. A few taps on the phone, and we can connect with anyone in any part of the world. Travelling between cities and countries is now faster than ever before. Robots at airports and restaurants is making our experience smoother. Just one voice command and digital assistants are ready to serve us. 
No wonder advancements in technology have made our lives easier, better and faster. But all of that is costing us small joys of life. common sight until technology fully consumed us. Remember the time when evening for kids meant meeting friends, playing outdoor games and riding bicycles. And once upon a time nothing else would get them greater joy than scribbling with crayons and messing up with watercolors. But all of that has now been replaced by just one screen. Sad times. And little do parents realize that their kids are losing on a bunch of beautiful childhood memories. Why just kids? Technology has changed the definition of entertainment for adults as well. Remember the days of renting video cassettes and watching new movies at home with the family? Entertainment back then had a touch of togetherness. But it's the thing of the past now. The likes of Netflix and Hotstar have redefined people's watching experience. They serve ample content. There is something for everybody. And that too anytime you want. But they lack the heartwarming entertainment experience that would bring families together. Today people are watching movies and shows of their choice on their respective screens in their respective rooms. Forget entertainment, we don't even express ourselves the same way. Remember those days of handwritten letters and cards? Days before smartphones invaded our minds and life. Perhaps you can still recall how would you take out time and think deeply before penning your thoughts on paper, pouring your heart into every letter. The entire process of sending a message, from writing to posting, used to be a joyous experience. And the mere thought of someone opening and reading your letter would just make you smile. But sadly, the art of handwritten letters is dying. Now that we all have a smartphone, we rush to messaging apps and video calls to talk to our loved ones. It may be faster and more convenient, but it often lacks the sincerity in expressions. And most importantly, technology has changed the way we seek love. Love takes time to happen with anyone. Remember the days of exchanging glances, looking for ways to strike a conversation and pursuing the special someone? Hi, can I join you? Yeah, sure. Thank you. But now in the age of dating apps, it's just a matter of swiping left or right. Perhaps love has now taken a backseat as technology is enabling people to find options rather than the one and only. Well, no doubt, technology is simplifying lives, but it's costing us small joys of life. Is it worth it? Ask yourself. 